Hey, welcome everyone. Thanks for coming out on this bitter cold winter night. Um, call this uh, meeting of the uh, Zoning Board of Adjustment for 19th of November to order at 6.05 p.m. And uh, I'm Bob Brown, the chairman. To my left is Joe Plessner, our vice chairman. At uh, the far end of the table is Kathy O, and at this end is Arthur Demas. Both, both full members. And we are missing a member tonight, which creates a, somewhat of an issue. Um, whereas it, uh, by law, it requires a minimum of three, three members to vote in favor of an appeal. And the chairman normally uh, with a full board does not vote except to break a tie. Um, I will give each uh, applicant the uh, option of, of proceeding and going ahead with their appeal or postponing until a later date. January which normally, in this case, would be January, since we don't meet in December, unless we hold a special hearing. That would be another option. So, having said that, let me uh, go ahead and read into the record our first case for this evening, which is a continuation of case 136 by James Cropsey, seeking a variance from Article 2.3.3, Section K of the Zoning Ordinance to permit additional banners to be placed in front of the building at Riverfront Place. Property is located at 322 West Main Street in Tilton, New Hampshire, in the downtown district, tax map U6-1. So, First question out of the uh, box is, what do you want to do, sir? Do you want to continue on with um, the four-member board? Well, I, I think that that's uh, advisable uh, under the circumstances. Okay. So we're looking at January, but if these good people are here to uh, say something and, and you would like to allow it, uh, then uh, I would certainly uh, welcome that to be read into the record. Um, I also do have some updates. Uh, that you would uh, okay, hold on just a moment, to sir. work on. Let me just uh, interrupt for a second. Yeah. Let the record show then that Mr. Cropsey is elected to proceed with the hearing. And uh, normally the, the order of uh, protocol would be for, for your presentation followed by any public sentiment for and then against rebuttals back and forth twice, okay? If there's anyone here that has any, any comment. However, I'll take just a moment to review before you begin where we were in October, if you don't um, mind. Well, uh, what I was requesting was a continuance, but I did not want to inconvenience those people who were here. That's fine. Mm -hmm. You're not inconveniencing anyone. Okay. <clears throat> Give me just a second. I've got the wrong case in front of me. And then the folders are up there too. Typical. Uh, <laughs> the folder for the, the master folder is up there, too. So, in lieu of reading the minutes verbatim, in, uh, on October 15th, we had, uh, you presented your conceptual design for banners measuring 18 uh, by 60 inches um, along the facade black belt line. Uh, with a maximum of 13 banners proposed. Um, the chairman and myself I reviewed the intended purpose and goals of the sign ordinance in Articles 2.3.1 and 2.3.10.4, after which a conversation ensued between uh, yourself, Mr. Cropsey, and, and the board centering around the importance of satisfying the five criteria of the variance. We heard testimony from yourself that not all tenants wanted banners nor 
would all tenants receive banners. And we also heard from Mr. Plessner that banners would not provide, in his opinion, a solution since they can't be seen from the road and are not compatible with uh, a professional building. A brief discussion ensued about uh, enlarging the marquee as an alternate to the banners, which would require an amended site plan. And then uh, following that, you elected to continue uh, the meeting to tonight in lieu of uh, asking the board for a formal vote. Correct. Does that pretty much summarize everything? Pretty much. Good. Uh, well, what do you got for us tonight, sir? Well, uh, I uh, asked my sign people to do some uh, work uh, because I remember that uh, there was a question of whether or not we could add to the marquee. Okay. Um, and uh, in their opinion, they can. So uh, uh, that uh, might change how you might, how some of you may vote. In lieu of the banners, is that what you're saying? Um, well, it, it, it uh, I think the concept was that uh, brought up by, uh, um, Oh, I don't think she's here, but uh, that uh, um, the if we could not add to the marquee, then uh, we'd have to either build another marquee or uh, um, have some other methodology that it became a hardship. And in looking at our our uh, uh, lot lines, et cetera, uh, the uh, existing marquee can be modified uh, within the uh, uh, parameters of the electrical lines I think we talked about and the, uh, the uh, uh, state right of way. Now, let me get so this possible. Let me just clarify something, if I may interrupt mm -hmm. you for a second. Thank you. When you refer to marquee, are you referring to the large awning on the front of the building or the large sign? The large sign. Thank you. In, in the front okay. where the flagpole is. So the the plaza sign. Okay. okay, then then it'd be a plaza okay. sign. Okay. Yeah, let's let's refer to it that in the future. Because I keep thinking you're talking about that large green awning. So but okay. I wanted to uh, have that clear in your minds that uh, it it looks as at this point in time that uh, uh, we and whoever else had thought that there might be uh, an instance of a hardship because of that that that's probably not the case. And of course, I'm sure that would affect how, how people might vote. Mm. Interesting. Okay. Um, that's it then? And that's that, your latest. That's, 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 that's so. everything up to date. Okay. And uh, uh, other than whatever people in the audience might have, uh, pro or con, if you're willing to let them speak. Uh, that I would am. be it until we're, we let something uh, come yeah. to continue. I think the majority of these folks are here for the next mm -hmm. case, but if anyone uh, would like to express their sentiment regarding the... Okay. No? Hearing none? Okay. I'll, uh, I'll turn it over to the board for questions if they have okay. any for you. Yes, I have a pertinent question. <clears throat> How are you proposing to alter the sign? the uh, uh, the main sign as it is now? Um, if we remove the uh, top wooden portion, the six foot on top, uh, we could uh, uh, add uh, that many more slats uh, uh, to the uh, sign. Um, and it is possible to extend it uh, perhaps uh, towards the parking lot we can't extend it towards the road anymore, but we can probably get uh, another foot or uh, another couple of feet. So it'd be a, a com complete redesign. So you could add any new tenants that you had to that. Is that what we're, what we're saying? Is? Uh, we could add a number of them. I'd still have the have some form of restriction as to uh, the uh, minimum minimum square footage that they occupy, um, and as as you're probably well aware that uh, you get down to a certain uh, size and, and uh, they can't be the tail wagging the dog. Uh, they 
uh, nobody's coming to, to look at one particular office of somebody that has 100 square feet. The, they're most likely directed to an entire building. But that would be true with a professional building to begin with. Or even, mm -hmm. a, even if it was a small uh, retail kiosk. Uh, what you're, what I'm, where I'm going with this whole thing is, uh, is this is supposed to be in lieu of these flags hanging from the front of the building? Banners, excuse me? Uh, this would be in lieu of, yes. Okay. okay, but for what you're suggesting, you don't even need anything from us as a board. For this, for that, that would be to a uh, planning board for site design, design review. I may just have to get a building uh, or sign permit. That, that's from, what I'm thinking, yeah. Department. I mean, yeah. Uh, whatever number of businesses are in there, that's your, right. to my knowledge, that's, that's what you'd be allowed yes. to have for the sign. Actually, you'd be allowed to have more because, as I recall, it's 20 square feet per tenant. Right. Okay. Correct. So, I mean, you're, you don't need anything from us if you do that. Mm. No. It seems to answer the whole problem. So, in that case, then, now we're we looking at possible withdrawal of the variance. Okay. The request for any kind of a variance, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, rather than to, to deny it outright. One of the reasons why we came why we came forward with this was that uh, um, Al did not have a definitive uh, handle on what was a banner and what was not, and whether these uh, types of banners would qualify as a banner or as signage. And under the ordinance, it's a gray area. So mm -hmm. part of it was to, to, to obtain a determination as to whether or not it was allowed uh, from the start. And if, if not, uh, therefore, uh, if, if you will, whether it would be uh, allowed, you might say, as of right, because it would qualify towards the 20 square feet per, per business, uh, or uh, they were a banner, and therefore uh, one per building. And that, that, that's, that, that, it's been a, a few months, but that was the, the original purpose of this whole thing, was to try to get well, a little bit of a handle on, a, on uh, where the town was going to go with this. You know, if you read the uh, uh, Article 2.3.10.4 carefully, it, it becomes pretty evident in there that, uh, that the or ordinance itself was pretty much uh, drafted with the intent of satisfying the, the, the buildings along both sides of Main Street. We're discussing awning overhangs on the sidewalks, one banner per building. Your building, however, is separated from all that on the other side of Park Street, standalone type thing with multiple tenants, and it creates a bit of, a, of, of an issue in that respect, you know. Yes. <coughs> so that's where the gray area comes in. And it's a larger building than the others on Main Street. Yes, and definitely. actually separated from the downtown. So it's, uh, it may not be a good example of uh, uh, where, what the town would like for the ordinance as an interpretation. Well, if I can just jump in here under 2.3.3, .3, item K, one banner sign for property that does not exceed four square feet. Right. Seems pretty clear. Correct. Yeah. I don't know what uh, else problem with reading that and applying that as, a, as written. I, I don't know where where the issue comes up in his mind. Uh, well, I, I think the issue was whether or not the boulevard banners were banners or signage. Uh, um, and uh, because it, it uh, you might say if, if it wasn't a banner, if it was a, if it was an actual uh, like a metal sign or a wooden sign, uh, that sounds like it would be something that would be allowed under the zone. So, uh, you know, the, the, that's partly where this interpretation comes through. 
uh, are they a banner or are they not? It's somewhat like the feather flag, which was determined not to be a, uh, a flag, uh, so therefore not uh, specific to uh, a patriotic or uh, open or uh, sale type of thing, which I think is uh, allowed. Yeah. Okay. So well, is, if you feel that you have uh, the room and the and the and the option is there to to expand that uh, the main sign out front, which is lighted, I noticed at night too. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Um, at a at a reasonable cost to you, you know, I'm, I'm sure it's, uh, it's not prohibitive, but no. that's an expensive sign, I'm sure. It, it, it's it expensive, can be modified, but though. At, at the same time, we should be changing the lights because they're, uh, they're not LEDs. Oh. And so there's a, a few things yeah. that we probably, with the new technology, we might benefit from, uh, Bob. Uh, yeah, cost savings there, for sure. Yeah, in the long run. So probably the, uh, the the best bet for you then is to is to take your proposal to the planning board. But he still wants us to and, do something. Yeah, and, and I would suggest that maybe it, uh, that you either just uh, withdraw your your request for a variance at this time, or we could table it possibly. Mm -hmm. Why don't we just deny it? And he can move forward with what he wants to do. He needs nothing from us. If you us. want a formal, formal uh, uh, rendering or vote, then we could do that either way. Um, well, I'd, I'd like, well, in, in having talked to Al about this, I'd, I'd like to have the full board deliberate and, and determine whether or not this is, uh, you know, w what it is. Because I've gone this far, I might as well. Uh, and, and the town may as well know in the future, this is allowed and this is not. So, um, <coughs> you know, sounds I'm fair. You, you mentioned full board. Does that mean you want to wait until we yeah, have full I, board? I, yeah, I, I mentioned that probably uh, appreciate a continuance so that everyone has an opportunity to, to vote on the on the issue. But you already said that you would go forward with it tonight. No, no. I, I said I. I uh, you did. I, I had a con uh, I said I would prefer the continuation, but if there were people here that were specific to my case, I would certainly not want to deny them the opportunity to say something one way or the other. Apparently, they're they're here for another case. Okay. Wait a minute. Uh, I, I think we got to look at what the purpose of this board is for. The purpose of this board is to deal with a specific issue that comes before it. We're not really here to break down the ordinance, other than in the course of discussion with the applicant. Sure. Okay. And whether we have four members or five members here, I don't know that it really makes a lot of difference, because it's still not something. It doesn't. That, uh, uh, in, in that respect. Even if we even if we gave you a denial, I mean, if, if all that just denying you as an applicant. The that, reasons that, for the denial measure. would be there. Would be in, in you know written in would be on would the, be uh, specific to the, the uh, <coughs> that uh, a boulevard Which banner is, probably is a is still a, a banner and therefore uh, not signage and therefore not allowed. Th that's what you're thinking. Or yep. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's it's just it's it's a banner and therefore you're allowed one per property, but yeah, one per you're, property. You're, you're looking business. far beyond that and. Well, it, it's uh, um, it, don't get wishy-washy. I'm not wishy-washy. I'm, 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 granted, a number of them have blown down, but the comparison was, and the, the, the concept rose because the town had installed boulevard banners on telephone poles and uh, uh, other structures throughout town. Let me throw this out as a suggestion, <coughs> and perhaps something that you could contemplate. I know for a fact that the planning board is in the process of working with new signage requirements. If you would just withdraw this whole application, you want to uh, modify your marquee board, find, you know, do your own thing, take it to the planning board, whatever you want to do. Yeah. <coughs> but let's wait to see what they come up with 
with the changes that they propose, uh, which we don't know what they are yet, but the, uh, it could very well go somewhere in your favor. I, we don't know what they're going to say. Okay, but I know for a fact that I have inside contact with the <laughs> <laughs> uh, that uh, this is something that they're addressing because they know it's complicated the way it is. This is this is really Concord's signage. Okay, and it was adopted for Quarterly uh, Sinker uh, because nobody yeah. really wanted to think it through. It was easier just to copy the whole damn thing. <laughs> And, it's uh, true. <laughs> uh, it's unfortunate that you know a lot, a lot of ordinances <clears throat> have this kind of boilerplate in them that if they've taken from other towns without any real reasoning as to how it applies to your community. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I, I've I've seen this as you know for the years that I worked here, and uh, it's unfortunate that it happened after we left because I would have put up, put up a lot of squawk with this thing to begin with. It was much too complicated for us. <clears throat> but that would be something that, if you took it, if you went before the planning board, because they're obviously going to have to have a public hearing, but that would be a good place for you to inject any comments you have as to what you might want to consider doing mm -hmm. and what, how they would look at it. Okay. okay then that, that would also give Al something to work with, if he'll work with it. Right. Well, that also goes back to Al in that I, I have wanted to be in compliance, and uh, that's one of the reasons why we, we, we're coming up, we're trying to come up with a different plan and uh, still remain in compliance without uh, uh, being ordered to remove right. anything or, or uh, have any legal action. So, um, um, so what I understand from what Joe is saying is withdraw and uh, wait until planning board comes forward with however they want to deal with the situation. However they want to change the ordinance. Uh, however they want to change the ordinance, because yes. I do know that this is coming down the pipe. Yes. And they will be, uh, they will be holding public hearings in January. Gus can make sure that you January. notified. Okay. Hopefully, maybe in December. I, I agree, I agree with Joe. I, I think maybe in December. Definitely in January. Okay, so uh, I just don't want to be not considered to be trying to be in compliance. And if, if uh, <laughs> yeah, Augusta, you can't comment on that. Al's not here. <laughs> I think your best course of action, I agree with Joe, is to withdraw the variance and take that and take that approach. I do. Uh, I, do, I have two members on the ends that are, uh, <laughs> have been quiet. I'm listening, taking it all in. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's, not, it's not a matter that for us to vote on. It's up to you. It's, it's I, I, I understand. You know, um, that's our recommendation that, that at this point in time, simplest thing to you is just pursue another avenue and that would be with pursue another uh, avenue and leave things the way they were because yeah. um, no matter what we other than turning it down what it pertains strictly to your your proposal and what you ask to do it doesn't really address the whole issue of the complicated aspects of the no. ordinance mm -hmm. and so it's not really going to help the situation either way with Al uh, <laughs> that's why they're going to simplify everything so he can deal with it. Yep. Well, uh, and that's what I was attempting to do too, is to try to simplify everything and get uh, the yes and no up or down, and uh, then I'll know what what I need to do. Sure. Um, yep. The existing banners can be removed, and uh, uh, I can do something different. Yep. So. And I, I think you have to come to grips with you. <clears throat> you have a type of building there very attractive building and I know the work that you put into it. You've got a magnificent building. Sure is. And it's really never been designed and I don't think you ever intended for it to hold a whole bunch of little businesses. Uh, okay. No. So obviously you're you're going to lean towards a significant tenant that's going to have multiple thousands of square feet like you've had up till now or at least 1,000, 1,500 per 
and none of these little kiosks, as you say, it's not really that, you don't have the parking for that, number one. No, yeah. Never intended if to. You had 20 businesses that. in there and each one had one and a half employees in it or more, you don't have any parking for your uh, customers. So, I mean, you've got to be realistic with what you've got well, there. It's, the, it's a the, professional the, building. Well, that's why I have that yeah, off site yeah. parking lot uh, with 80 uh, vehicles. Um, so. Uh, we've talked about that years ago, if I remember correctly. <clears throat> when I was sitting here, I had kind of a rainy day or a cold, snowy day. Customers are not going to park up on Mill Street and walk that far into the building. And the employees aren't going to like doing that. Either. Get next to the door. <laughs> well, actually, uh, uh, Joe, I found that people were actually doing that. Uh, and uh, uh, on, on the, especially on the nice summer days. Uh, people were parking in there all the time, and, and we weren't. We didn't even have a sidewalk. Uh, nice summer days, fine. Yeah, a good day. And the, rain, and, the, and the rain and the fog, maybe not as many. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, that's all I'm getting at is that th that building has never been intended for multiple small businesses uh, to become like a. Uh, Understood. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Kiosk. Now, I know that, but what do you call it when you have multiple kiosks type situation? Uh, <coughs> a mall. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A, a mall, yeah. Um, well, I, I think uh, I'm going to have to deliberate on this a little bit and ask for a continuation then. Uh, I'll talk to my, uh, the other alternatives for legal counsel and my sign people to determine whether or not uh, I want to actually pursue and get the up or down or uh, uh, withdraw. Well, I, I see, uh, I don't see this at all. If, that, if it's, you've already agreed to let us make a decision tonight. No, I thought when I you, asked for a And you said to move forward. No, no, no. I asked you if you wanted to move forward. But, you know, I, I don't see, I, I agree with uh, Joe that I don't see an advantage to continuing this week. We really need to, to bring this banner thing to uh, a closure, one way or the other. Uh, it's not going to satisfy what you're trying to do. Uh, it has nothing to do with that. Right. And uh, I know I'm, I'm prepared to, uh, to, to render a decision on it. Um, and I don't know about the others. But I think I agree that we should we should go ahead. Yeah, I do too. Okay. And he then agreed to to begin with. He did. Then yes. I think you should vote on it. So I, I would say I'll give you a motion to deny the variance as requested. Do I hear a second? Uh, second. You have a second. Okay. Do any of you want to discuss this any further? I think we've talked it to death. Very well. Um, all in favor then, say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Yeah, you've got your, you've solved, solved the problem for you. Yes. And we will, we will prepare, solve the, the, reason, we will prepare the reasons for the denial so mm -hmm. that you'll have those. Okay. okay. And uh, get with the planning board. Best of luck. Get, get involved with that that part of their decision making. Yep. You know, and, and so that, you know you, you can see where they're coming from and right. what yep. what their changes are going to be proposed. Right. And, and uh, I've been to their public hearings on signage before. Right. And and they do listen. They'll also know how the town's going to interpret the existing ordinance. Next Tuesday night, <laughs> the planning board will be working on zoning and discussing. Okay. Um, there you go. So and we meet at 6.30. I don't know when we'll be actually discussing the signage, but uh, they are supposed to be working on that next week. So if you want to stop by and give your okay. well, Thank you, Jim, thank you. for being here. Thank you for your patience on this matter. And You're welcome. Thanksgiving thank you for you and deliberating it. Have a nice Thanksgiving. Thank you. You too. And good luck. Thanks. And keep in mind, with my inside contact, I'll know what what you bring up with the planning board. Uh, I think it's going to be a public meeting anyway, Joe. Oh yeah, but I get I get a personal oh. uh, <laughs> dissertation of what takes place at the meeting. <coughs> okay, are you folks ready to proceed with the next case?
Yes, it's time. Okay, let me uh, read this off then. Uh, case uh, number 13-09 is a request for a variance. The article is seeking from um, Article 7, Appendix C, the table of dimensions to subdivide a 4.14 acre property into two lots being of less than the required three acres and 250 foot of road frontage per lot. The property is located at 168 Sanborn Road in Tilton in the Rural Agricultural District, tax map R19, lot 16. Who's representing? My name is Deb Hines, and we're going to ask for a continuance until the January meeting. In, oh, till January, right? Right. Yeah. Very well, Deb. Thank Do you have you. a date for that? I won't get you one. Okay. Yeah. We're still working on them. Thank you. Do I have to? January 21st. Um, do we have a time for that? It'll be 6 p.m. 6 p.m. It'll be first. Perfect. <laughs> um, uh, I just, I've got something swimming around in my head. Being as we're now getting into wintertime, we had started a new process here a year or two ago. Uh, in case the weather is inclement anyway, mm -hmm. if you call by noontime, Okay. If it's at all questionable, we'll call first. Yeah. Or I will call. Okay. Yeah. If it's even questionable, yeah. we'll just okay. go and we'll, we'll postpone it. Okay. Uh, and that way, I save everybody from get coming here and I mean, really bad weather and Sounds not good. having a full board or whatever the case may be. We just stop it all dead in its tracks. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you guys have a nice holiday. Okay. You too. <laughs> Two holidays. <laughs> Yeah. We'll see you in January. Sounds good, thank you. Merry Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas. <laughs> no, wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. 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 I'd like to show you that before we leave. We won't get into heavy discussion, but obviously uh, you should be aware of this because it is significant. You want Do you have the email? Yeah. I was going to have Gus make him a copy of it. You want to just read it while I'll... Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll make a copy if you want. There, there, yes, you will. Uh, there is a condition here relative to the whole thing that all rights to the grandfathers have been waived by the applicant. That would have been Mr. Doubleman. And upon resale of the property, all uses yeah. revert back to those normally permitted within the agricultural district. Which technically that kills well, the business. It's a, uh, it, technically, it does. That's an issue. Mm -hmm. Or it can be. 2006, I believe. Yeah. yeah, I own it. Well, yeah. Permit. You know, the only one in 06 for an addition. Uh, yes, but that, he was still involved with the was, property. Yeah, he, that was his. He was no ownership at all in 06, though. Bill was, he was hitting on it since 04. It's Three listed as four. William Doubleday, though, American Custom Design. It's Woodward. American Custom Design. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But he was an employee at the time, yeah. Okay, so I mean, but I mean, he was still involved. He still owned the house, didn't he? No, it's one property. It's all one piece of land. That's I know, but didn't he? I know there was a divorce involved. He was a renter okay. of the house, basically. And he was renting it from who? American? Correct, American Custom Design. Custom Design. Right. So you're saying it already mm -hmm. changed hands? In 2004. And then you get a Berlin permit in 08 too? Yeah, in 08 so they renewed it. So two permits under, under his... Under American Custom Design. But they're still looking at it as... Oh, I can't, I can't speak for it because I wasn't here for that one. Uh, yeah, it's a message. Anyway, yeah, I, think, I think, you know, you can see where there's, 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 there's a problem here. And it goes messy. Okay. Uh, and, uh, That's our main concern, though. Oh, thank you very much. The condition on the original variance. 
Where does that go? I don't know what we do with this. We can't legally just dispose of it. I think that's the way it was awarded back in 1995. Okay. But I think you have some responsibilities. The building thing. permits were given too under the new ownership. Responsibility. Of the well, I mean, well, only because you don't you don't go back and look when a building permit comes in. <clears throat> well, the thing is, when when a building when when he would have come in and apparently he he was still involved in it. Then. Well, he only as an employee, we'll but not for the as an owner. Who we'll applied for the building permit? Who we'll applied for the building permit? Probably would have been. Bill probably came down. But I signed it or not, I don't know what we I've actually been American Custom Design since nineteen ninety three. It was a partnership in ninety three, but Bill was bought out in 04. So he's been just um, at the house. He's only lived in the house since 04. Thank that's, you very much. That's my question. You know, why didn't the surface when the yeah, when the, the property is in the hands? So we'll have to look into this. American Custom Design. Okay. Yeah. So how would we, how would we proceed from here on that? Yeah. They usually well, well, the surface <laughs> getting involved with a legal entanglement here. Mm -hmm. we really, yeah. Although we might be quasi-judicial, <laughs> we, <can't really, laughs> yeah. uh, we really can't get involved with the technicalities of the law when it comes to this time, type of thing. Uh, yeah. That was allowed to happen with the restriction that's there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now we're talking about something that has changed completely mm -hmm. um, as far as the ownership of the property and the, technically the condition comes into play. And I think this never would have surfaced, I guess, if they weren't trying to split the property again. Well, at some point it probably would surface. Uh, and, and it did. Well, yeah, if, if, if we hadn't even, but if we had come in at some point, it would be housekeeping we'd have to take care of at some point. I think it might, might be prudent for me to contact town council, too. Who? Town council. Are we still inquire. taping here? Or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, I haven't adjourned the meeting, so okay. that's fine. Yeah. All right. This doesn't screw up our continuance and all this stuff. No, it's just after do it. okay. I just wanted to make you aware yeah. of it because I, I had a feeling you weren't aware. Between now and then, though, you okay. know. We well, that's what I'm this. trying to, that's why I kind of asked, okay, where do we go from here? Theoretically, when you came in to make the application for this, mm -hmm. that's when you should have been made aware of this. Mm -hmm. okay. so Which what, I wasn't aware of. See what the history was on it. Mm -hmm. Well, unfortunately, when we used to put this kind of stuff in the file with the property, yeah, because it wasn't in the file, because I know those the she has been, yeah. yeah. I went through the file. Right. And yeah. I wasn't there. It was, yeah. People, have, some of the folders have been cleaned out for some reason, for somewhere down the line. A lot of the older that. stuff uh, isn't yeah. there. I know that after we left, a number of things took place that never should have taken place as far as material. All of a sudden get shuffled around and put in different places. And all those cards Great in the card, the card file that we had maintaining ownerships of properties that was all disposed of, that never should have happened. And that's off the record. No, I'm just <laughs> That was before me. <laughs> Bruce, Bruce, what's your last name? Howard. Howard, thank you. Yeah. Anyway, you, uh, I don't know what to tell you. We, we can go into this in greater depth in January. Uh, you're now aware of it. And, well, um, I'm just wondering, is it something that we can kind of talk back and forth on, on what you find out, or do we have to wait until January? I'm just trying to think that, you know, well, maybe we can keep continuing depending on what... I'm going to work on getting a, a legal opinion mm -hmm. on, from the town council okay. uh, in the interim. Okay. So, of that, um, if you want to pursue it with a lawyer or whatever, I don't, I don't know. To do right now. Okay. Is that I, something that, if you get an opinion back from the town council, is that something you would share with us before the January no. meeting? No. <laughs> <laughs> we could. Okay. okay. Uh, it's, it's secret, all top secret. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. He would. He would probably have, have something typed up and writing for us. Okay. Okay, that'd be great. Um, after we discuss it with. Yeah. 
Um, that's the only thing I can think to do right now because it's going to be difficult for us to resolve it at our level. We're only quasi-judicial. We're not a court. So I guess you know, we're, we're it should be it should be ironed out though before before this gets any goes any further. Mm -hmm. Well, where my thoughts going is, does that remain in existence? In which case, yeah. you've got other problems besides uh, splitting the property. Well, that's why I was just trying to figure out if it, if it was something that we can try to figure out between now and January in case we have to do something else or you know that's that's all to see if we you know. Uh, I had a question, uh, uh, not to change the subject, but the uh, property in front of that building. The house? Nichols. Not the house. Oh. Nichols. Nichols? Yeah. Nichols property. Nichols. Uh, you're, showing a, you're showing a proposed roadway through his property. Mm -hmm. is, is there some kind of a written arrangement there? Yes. Um, Bruce dropped it off the other day, and he does... There's a, a letter of intent, and then there's the, also the driveway. You know driver. where the? Uh, are you aware of where the leach field and septic is? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Are you oh, aware really? that that's very wet in the springtime? I went out and it, it's wet on one side of it, not down it, below. It's it's below it. I have walked the area, and in that particular area, it, it isn't because I said the same thing to Bruce. Nice to fix that. Actually. Until we <laughs> until we walked down there. Yeah. It might become so, a, an issue for you at site point. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. I didn't know if maybe a wetlands uh, person would. I am a wetlands person. Mm -hmm. I'm a wetlands scientist. Thank you. <laughs> that was okay. the first thing I said to him. Okay, I said, well, now wait a minute, I think it's wet down there. And we did go down and walk okay. it in the particular well, I know area. it's wet because yeah. I, I, I live up the road and yeah. I see it. Yeah, and I was surprised uh, that there is a section that, that I was, isn't. <laughs> I was surprised that they were able to put a septic system in where they did, you know. Mm -hmm. Apparently it's functioned. So. Okay, well, that's great. So, uh, that's something you, you can deal with the planning board yeah. if it gets that far. Right. We'll see what that goes on. Okay. So you can plan on an in depth discussion come January. Okay. We'll so be so we'll we'll in the we'll 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 stuff. Yeah, yeah no, we'll be in touch Happy New Year, right? if you get something or whatever. <laughs> you want to come in and look at it more? You're right in front of Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you don't need my backside on that. I'll stop in probably. Or so, maybe to see if um, you have any information about well, anything new. When and if we get anything resolved on it from our town council, Gus will definitely let you know. Okay. No problem there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Take care. Good Happy Good Thanksgiving, everyone. What we need to do now, folks, is prepare uh, the reasons for our denial of that variance of the property. And, uh, and then we're all set, okay? And then we'll review the minutes. Well, we can actually review the minutes first, I guess. What do you think? Sure, let's do that. Now. Let's get it out of the way. So that would be uh, the minutes Octo of October 15th. October 15th. I had them someplace. There's some on the table there. If you can't find yours, I had them there somewhere. I made copies. I what I did with mine now. I've read them, over, read them over a couple of times, and I'm, I'm good with them. There we are. I got them. Yeah. Okay, these are the draft minutes for October 15th. Uh, were you able to, did you get a chance oh, to review them? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, if, does anybody have any corrections that they feel needed to be made? I wasn't here, so... That's true. I was comfortable. You're comfortable with them? I'm comfortable with them just as they are. Yeah, I thought uh, they came out really well. Yeah. Well done, Gus. Um, pretty good gisting and everything. Uh, Joe, would you like to make a motion? I'll make a motion to accept the minutes as currently printed. I'll second that. Got the draft copy revision one. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Very well. The record show the minutes have been approved for Who October 15th. It? Who said I did. It? Oh, you didn't? Okay, well. <laughs> now, on this variance of uh, corruptions, my, my notes, what I did, I didn't, I didn't think about this. I had already written up reasons uh, or 
my version of each of the criteria, five criteria for a variance, back when we heard this in October. But whether or not I thought that, that they were justified or not. So that during the, the following four weeks until last night, I didn't even think about this case. Last night, I, I didn't look at those notes, and I, I wrote them out again. I pulled out my notes from October 15th, they were almost identical. So I am convinced that, you know, I've, I've formed my opinions. <laughs> and I'll go through those with you and see how you feel about them, okay? On the first, first one, which I think has to do with the spirit of the ordinance, am I correct? Number one, public interest. Granting the variance would not be in in contra in not be contrary to the public interest because and I said uh, it would be contrary to the public interest since banners along the building facade would be contrary to the standards and articles 2.3.1 and 2.3.10.4 anybody want I totally concur in addition to the Banners not serving any realistic purpose okay. because they can't be read from the road. If the banners, the printing on it would be far too small. Wait a minute, get the handle. Banners would serve no, would you say? Practical purpose. No, no practical service. Okay. And, okay. As, much, and as much as the printing would be too far too small to even be read from the highway. I think I get into that. Let, let's let's let, let's start right there first. Okay. Mm -hmm. On the spirit of the ordinance, if the variance were granted, the spirit of the ordinance would be observed because no, uh, it said the spirit would not be observed because the business currently enjoys a reasonable opportunity to advertise without intrusion on the visual aspects of the area. Is that acceptable? That sounds okay to me, although I, 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 I just don't really know that it's really significant one way or the other as far as that particular issue goes. Right. We, we'll, okay. we'll pass that over then. I, I felt the yeah. same way. Had to put something in there, though. Yeah, I understand what you're I doing. I could have gone just, beyond just uh, visual aesthetics to all sorts uh, of things. Uh, that's up to you. I, I thought that was kind of, that really wasn't necessary to go on with that. I think there are, there were other things that, that are coming up that are much more significant. Absolutely. <clears throat> like hardships and stuff and real needs and what purposes it would serve. On the third one, uh, granting the variance would do substantial justice because, and I, my answer was no justice is afforded to tenants by the use of banners that are unreadable or fail to specify the tenant's location. Yeah, that's, that's, it that in that's it in a nutshell. Okay, do you agree, Art? Um, okay, on, on reason number four, if the variants were granted, the values of the surrounding properties would not be diminished because basically I I didn't have anything opposition to that because of the standalone nature out in the middle of nowhere, you know. It's standardized, properly signed, sized, and appropriately positioned banners would likely not diminish the value of surrounding properties. Right. Do you agree with I, that? I agree with that. Okay, we'll go with that then. And five, of course, is the hardship. And I never even got into parts A and B, I just said. No special conditions e exist that would prevent its use, which is the building, mm -hmm. in conformance with the signage ordinance or original site plan. Hence, neither A nor B can be established without prejudice. I, I think you probably kind of hit the nail right on the head. Okay. I can't improve. Let's go with it then. I can't improve on that at all. Can I have a copy of what you wrote? <laughs> No. <laughs> no, no, you have to reword it yourself. 
Which, <laughs> I haven't gotten all of that. Okay, that's what we'll do then. We'll set it up that way. And uh, thank you very much. Is there any other business then for this evening? Mm -hmm. uh, no, there's the correspondence we get a okay. New Hampshire yep. town and city. Great. And that's it. We'll look through that. Hearing none, then uh, I will uh, move to uh, adjourn at uh, 6.55 p.m. Do I hear a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Being adjourned. Are you going to be down at the, uh, the highway department on Saturday? Uh, no. Excuse me? No. No? Okay. Uh, in that case, I have something to give you tonight. Oh. I'll give you the truck. Is the camera still on?